Meet Michael Kidd, an award-winning choreographer with a career that spanned more than 50 years and earned him five Tony Awards and an honorary Oscar for his contributions to the art of dance. Kidd may be best known for his high energy and athletic and even comedic choreography that borrowed from ballet, modern, and social dance, and acrobatics. His distinct style was born from realistic movements and gestures, always making a point to prioritize story, thus creating dances that helped carry out plot and flesh out characters. Michael Kidd came to be known for the integral musical because of just how essential his dance movements were to moving the story forward. Celebration of the dance, you do fussy, 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 you do Martha Graham, Martha Graham, Martha Graham, or Twyla, 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 or Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, or Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. But you keep it all inside. So who is this master of the arts and pop culture reference? Michael Kidd was born Milton Greenwald in New York City on August 12, 1915, to Russian immigrants. He grew up in Brooklyn and studied modern dance under dancer and choreographer Blanche Evans. Soon after, he received a scholarship to the School of American Ballet. Kidd made his Broadway debut in 1939 playing the gangster in the musical ballet The Filling Station. From 1942 to 1947, not only was he a soloist for the American Ballet Theater, but he continued to appear on Broadway in such productions as Billy the Kid in 1942, Interplay in 1946, and more. But it was in 1947 that he choreographed his first musical, Finian's Rainbow, setting him off on a new path for the rest of his career. As a choreographer, Kidd created dance numbers for many hit Broadway musicals such as Guys and Dolls and Can Can, but he also added the role of director to his belt with Lil Abner, Ben Franklin in Paris, and the musical version of The Goodbye Girl, just to name a few. So what is the integral musical, and how did Michael Kidd's style change the way Broadway and Hollywood told stories? Integral or integrated musical means that the musical number isn't just a performance for the audience, but rather, it is used to push the narrative forward. Let's take a look at a clip of one of Michael Kidd's most famous routines in Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. The brothers want to win the hearts of the women, but they'll have to take on their rivals first. All they have is their environment, and dance. Cinematographer George Folsey's biggest challenge in shooting the scene was keeping the dancers within camera range, both vertically and horizontally, due to what Folsey referred to as, quote, spectacular dance routines created by choreographer Michael Kidd, dances that were basically violent ballet, end quote. Folsey managed to keep the dancers in frame by shooting from a very high angle or at ground level, especially when capturing the high leaps and acrobatics of the dancers. By the time Michael Kidd transitioned from Broadway to Hollywood in the early 1950s, families were staying home more due to the invention of the television set. By the end of the 50s, a television was in 90% of American homes. However, early on, the television image was small, indistinct, and black and white. Producers wanted to draw potential spectators out of their living rooms and back into theaters with bright colors and big sound. With Technicolor leading the way, Hollywood color films in the early 50s jumped from 20 to 50 percent. Every major studio made musicals, with MGM in the lead, and Michael Kidd was in the mix. Throughout the 50s, he choreographed several successful musicals, The Bandwagon, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Guys and Dolls, and more. He even starred in It's Always Fair Weather, directed by Vincent Minnelli in 1955. 
Let's take a look at one of its more memorable dance numbers now, featuring Gene Kelly, Dan Daly, and Michael Kidd, each tapping with a trash can lid tied to their foot. You'll recognize Kidd by just how life and athletic he is. His ballet background really shines in this one. It's Always Fair Weather wasn't a huge hit at the box office. It had an emotional complexity and some say a cynicism that was different from most movie musicals of the time. Things were changing in Hollywood and around the world, and by the mid-1950s the bright and hopeful movie musical was on its way out. America was facing profound societal and cultural upheaval. Desegregation was in full effect. Rosa Parks' arrest gained nationwide attention, setting the civil rights movement in motion. For the first time, cigarettes were said to cause cancer, and female birth control was on its way to market. Television was also becoming a major force in entertainment, giving movie musicals and Broadway a run for their money. Fortunately, Michael Kidd was able to adapt. He directed and choreographed for both film and television, even directing two Janet Jackson music videos. <laughs> Even decades later, you could still see Kid's signature style of meaningful movement. Cab Calloway! By pulling everyday gestures and movements into his choreography, he created beautiful yet accessible routines that very much described relationships and emotions. His highly characterized walks and shuffles captured the time, the place, and most specifically the person. Michael Kidd was a mix of jazz and ballet, a pirouette and a step ball change, comedy and drama. Julie Andrews said it best when she awarded him with an honorary Oscar in 1997. Michael Kidd had an inspired gift for expressing emotion through motion. Perhaps this award signifies an awareness that we have been missing something, namely the vitality and the joy of living that movie musicals can express in song and dance. I thank the Academy for this tribute. I accept it in the name of all choreographers, and especially the dancers who made it all possible. We feel honored. Thank you.